this ring is supposed to swivel so that the handle can be tightened, but it's rusted up. So by heating just the ring, I'm hoping I can cause it to expand enough to allow me to turn this. And there we go. Now will that come off? I don't know if it'll come off. No, nope, looks like it just spins. Be really careful with this because it's cast iron and that means it's fragile. Nope, that's actually locked onto there. It's either an extraordinary bit of casting to get that ring to be cast onto there, or else this is cast steel of some kind. Steel would allow them to swedge that inner shaft out to lock the bushing or lock that ring on. Interesting. Because I thought it was a solid cast piece. Now I find that it swivels and not only does it swivel, it swivels and it's locked together. Disassemble this. Just take that off. Spin the threaded shaft out. And drop out the nut. Now this handle, I'm going to clean up. And this is going to be my sample to make the other handle match it. Because this handle, which goes with this piece, which is too hot to pick up right now, this handle uh, was destroyed in trying to disassemble it. I don't see any evidence of powder post beetles on this one. The other one had just two small holes in it, but they were up here in the weak spot. So when I tried to twist the handle off, it just cracked in pieces. It's amazingly light wood. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very light. Using these tubes means that I get more depth. Nice thing about vinegar. Put your fingers into it, doesn't bother a bit. Now if I can do this without making a mess. That'll be a red letter day. Yeah, not a big mess. I'm just going to store that in this tube. After removing the handles from the two-man crosscut saw, I realized that this one was in pretty bad shape. So I disassembled all the metal parts and soaked them in vinegar to remove the rust. 
The ones that didn't require major disassembly, in other words, heat, I just put in the vinegar bath, and that was a couple days ago. I'm going to take them out and check them again. Vinegar leaves them with a dull gray matte finish. And if I want them to be shiny, I'm gonna to have to take them over and run them through the wire brush. But the bits and pieces appear to be pretty good. On this one, I can still see the black paint. That part was hidden inside the handle, so the black paint was sheltered from the rusty area, and uh, the black paint stayed on it. So I'm gonna paint these gloss black again. But before I do that, I'm gonna take them up and wash them off in the sink, run them through a baking soda bath, make sure I got all the vinegar killed. And while that might be fascinating to some, I'm sure you've seen it done before in some of my other videos, so I'm not going to run you through that. Got the rig all set up. All we have to do is shake the paint can and squirt some paint on these things. Now the reason we're doing it out here is because I don't want to have to empty out the whole garage so that I don't get overspray on things. And painting out in the yard today is just not possible because of the amount of wind that I've gotten this nice fall day. So I'll give them all one good coat on this side, flip them over and hit them again. Just about out of paint. 